Hi everyone, welcome to this short tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can use Passport in a single signature setup with the Electrum desktop client. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step over on Passport, we want to head down to Pair Wallet, select our account, the default again is zero, then I'm going to scroll down to Electrum. Passport then says, Next, Passport will save a .json file to your micro SD card to use with Electrum. I'm going to press continue. And that has saved a .json file onto the micro SD card. So I can take that out of Passport and pop it into my computer. Okay, so I've just opened Electrum. This is the uh, opening screen. And I'm going to head up to choose. And then I'm going to head to the micro SD card that I've just inserted into my computer. I'm going to choose the .json file that we've just saved. Okay, so there we go. We can then click on next. So Electrum is going to give us a short warning just to say that we're in testnet mode. Obviously, uh, if you are operating Electrum normally using mainnet, then you won't see that warning. The next warning we're going to get is uh, this wallet is watching only. This means you will not be able to spend Bitcoins with it. Please make sure you own the seed phrase or the private keys before you request Bitcoins to be sent to this wallet. So what that's essentially reminding us is that the private keys to be able to spend Bitcoin from Passport are held firmly within Passport. Um, and that Electrum in this instance is acting as a watch only, meaning that it can only receive and construct unsigned transactions. Um, and I'm going to show you how you can construct a transaction next. So just a quick tour. Obviously, this uh, wallet that I've just imported does have some transactional history in it, which you can see there. We then have the send tab where we can construct transactions. We have the receive tab where we can generate a new receiving address. So we can finish off the pairing process by generating a receive address. So I'm just gonna give it the address uh, a label. You can optionally add a requested amount. Again, you can leave that completely blank and then you can also set the request to expire after a certain amount of time. Again, I'm just gonna leave that at default and then press new address. So there we go, we have a receiving address there, which we can see in text format, or we can click to view in QR code format. So on Passport, just to finalize the pairing process, I'm gonna press continue. And then Passport says, next, let's check that the wallet was paired successfully. Generate a new receive address in Electrum and scan the QR code on the next page. So I'm gonna press continue and then scan the address on screen. And there we go, we have a pairing complete success message on Passport. So we've received some Bitcoin into our wallet. Now let's demonstrate a spend transaction. So initially we are going to construct the transaction in Electrum and then we're going to pass it over to uh, Passport for it to be signed. So the first step, I'm going to paste in the address that I want to pay to. Then I can add a description for the transaction. And then I can add uh, enter the amount that I want to send. Next up, I'm going to hit pay. On the next text box, I can adjust the fee rate. Because uh, I'm sending it to myself, I'm just going to keep the fee low, and then I'm going to press send. So there we have the unsigned transaction. On the bottom left here, I'm going to opt to export, and then export to file. And that is going to save a .psbt file onto my micro SD card. I'm going to press save. Okay, so I'm just going to eject the SD card out of my computer. And then place into Passport. So on Passport, I'm going to choose sign with micro SD. Passport's going to show me the amount being sent and the destination, the change amount and the change address, and then the network fee. Once I'm happy with that, I can press sign. 
and then Passport says it has saved a signed .psbt file to the micro SD card. So I can take that back out of Passport and pop the micro SD card into my computer. So within Electrum, I'm going to go to Tools, Load Transaction from File. And there you will be able to see on the within the micro SD card, we have a sign.psbt file. So I'm just going to choose that. We can have a final review of the transaction there. So we can see the spend amount there going to that address. And the second uh, address is my change address. Once I'm happy, I can click broadcast. And there we go. Payment sent.